All right. I hope we're near the fuel station. Yep, thankfully. How are you looking for fuel? I am um, less than a quarter now. Because I'm having to all wheel a lot of this. Mm hmm. Tough old bird. Yeah, now we know why it's called the bug. <laughs> uh oh. The end of that. Yeah, you see, I can't see how deep the water is on the map because I've not unlocked this area. This is hilarious. Was oh, a mug stay? You're a squirrel. You need a pull? No, it should be okay. Unless I'm gonna put her on the side now, which it, she's just sliding. Well, I can winch you towards me if you need it. I think I made it out. Oh boy. Well, I'm getting very, very low on fuel now. Yeah, I can hear it. That's interesting. I actually could hear that. And I don't know if we can get through this way because we don't have the map unlocked. Uh, where is the next... Oh boy, where is the next... Oh, oh it's our road to our right there. Mm. That looks like a road to our right. <laughs> if we were driving we I'd get out of my truck and walk 10 meters that way <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can get so through cool. here or not so that would be quite something Oh, come on, it's just a little conifer. No, this is not a good route. I'm going to get stuck in trees now. Yeah, don't do that because you kind of got a big trailer there behind you. Well, let's put it this way. I don't think we're going this way. Well, better get out of your way then, eh? Oh, if no. I could see what I was doing with this stupid camera, stop doing crazy stupid things. I can actually um, see where I am. If you want to hit your... What is it? Is it down or up? Yes. Um, oh, it's actually D-pad left switches between front and rear camera. That might help a little bit. Hey, Caromba. I'm gonna get four by just this one oh, trailer. Well, what do you know? There is a really nice road right beside the bog that we just fought our way through. Yep. <laughs> Typical. If you're running out of fuel, I can drag you to the fuel station even. 
Right, I'm out. I'm out and I'm about to enter the fuel station. Oops. That tree wow. did not give. Oh, refuel for the win. I was getting down to fumes at that point. <laughs> Uh, I believe it supports a no steering wheel. Names left. Yes, it does. Now, if we only had unlock points for the garage, that would be nice. That would be beautiful. I guess we have to right. come back for that. So, oh, wait a second. There is a watch point. What's that? Yeah. Only 104 meters straight ahead. Yep, I was going to say if we head south, we can unlock the area, yep. and then and then see just how we went completely the hard way. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. Watch it there where we went through the through that river type terrain. Yeah, I bet you any money there is the road right beside. <laughs> yeah, nice tarmac road, little motorway going past. Uh, not a doll on yet, it should be on soon, oh, I think. Oh, look at that. Paul is getting adventurous here. Oh, well, I guess there wasn't a really another way. To get from that end of the map to the other. Oh yeah. That's quite some terrain though. Nice. So now we can go all the way down this road, cross over the river. And see if we can pick up the next watch point and then we'll have a clear run to the or we'll, we'll be able to see where to get to the lumber mill. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, this, uh, this This is also a little bit easier um, because we are running not hardcore. If this was hardcore mode, I bet you any money that would have... Some of the sketchy moments would have turned out different because the mud physics in hardcore are changed. You, are, If you are on the side of a mountain, you will actually start sliding in the mud. Oh, I didn't know the physics was different in hardcore. Didn't used to be, but uh, from from couple of hours that I tried it, it's definitely more challenging, especially if you are driving on uh, on any kind of incline. Citrus sausages, thank you for two months. Uh, I just want to say thank you for one of the best streamers out there, Northern Alex. Uh, thank you to one of the best dudes out there, Northern Lights, Kappa. <laughs> thank you, Citrus. Bridge. Over troubled waters. It's a dodgy little bridge, that one. Definitely creeks. Oh boy, that sounds good. Bridge over a creek. <laughs> I see myself up. Oh, I'm sliding in the mud here. Paul, if you want to catch up on resubs, and because you have a lot of them, you can pause for a second. Yeah, I'm just going to pause here because Doyle's come to visit. Oh. So I'm just going to take... Stop there. Just 
stop my engine so I don't waste fuel. Uh, I don't know if you want to push on or find the route before it goes dark or sit here, it's fine. I've just got Lord Doyle in. Come on, boy. Come and say hi to everyone. Um, um, I just go and unlock the... If I... Oh. Yeah. You can't see the ruts that you make, but you sure can get stuck in them. <laughs> there he is. Hey, Dolly. How are we doing? Don't say hi. we are looking at down there. No third hand today. Also, hello, Mrs. Squirrel. Ah, oh, Mrs. Squirrel's not here. No. That's a little piece, then. Try that one. We have a refusal. Just give everyone a hug, then. You're not having that, Squirrel. You've got your own pal. So the answer's no. No, third hand will be back tomorrow. You sure you don't want any more? No. Nope. He's not having schmacko today. It's a refusal. He's got his eyes on this little squirrel down here. You're not having that one. That's not yours. <laughs> All right. All right, let's say goodbye then. Bye bye, Donna. Yeah, see? Bye. There you go. No, you can't have it. You can't have the rift either. That's what doors like when Mrs. Squirrel's not here. Weird. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh, that was a short visit from Doyle. It was. Are you gone the water route then? Oh. Oh boy. I'm trying to fight my way to that watchtower, but it's not as cut and dry as we thought. Quite literally. Let's see what's down this way. I see the goal. I see the goal. Nice. Yeah, sometimes they put those things in a really awkward place. You can see them, but then trying to get them is a different story. <laughs> yeah. So close, but yet so far. Oh, wow. We unlocked the whole map. No, nice. nope, we didn't. No, we can Almost. see where we're going, though. One more. Yeah, like ahead of you is another bit of water then it's more or less straight down towards a lumber mill or yeah. you can actually actually know if you look at where you're going once you pass the water if you hang a hang a right um that'll bring you into the lumber mill a lot easier you can come in from the north side rather than the um, south side yeah what i've got to do is get through this water That corner there, that's something else. Yeah. It's 
It's actually quite enjoyable knocking down small trees. Uh huh. I just wish it was synchronized. I honestly, I, I do understand that the mud isn't synchronized per se because that would take a lot. I mean, it's a lot of of of, of well, vertices or whatever the mud is made of. But uh... oh, I mean, which mud am I driving over, and which mud are you driving over? Are you driving over the like if I drive through and leave tracks? You don't see them, but are they still there? Or is it I the other way around? See them, but they will definitely get me. If I drive in those ruts, I get stuck a lot more easy. I noticed that because when I drove first, it was good, and then I started driving behind you, and I was like, what the hey is going on here? Yeah. Is that because. Who's the host now? I can't remember. Am I the host? Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are the game server. Right. Jay Dixon, thank you for four months. Uh, I have been watching your stream for years. Every year it gets better and better. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Jay Dixon. Canadian Human with eight months. Uh, are you Paul? You sound different. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if they somehow would synchronize it, but I don't know how hard that would be to be honest with you. I do believe I am me, Canadian Human. Honey Girl, four months, went best. Yes. Uh, oh, no, I missed this one. From R083R73H. Nice change of pace, Paul. So Haven't seen you play a cyber game. Up as those kids these days say for uh, New Mexico. Uh, looking forward to it, yeah. Be be, you know, another section of the map, which is cool. Yeah. yeah I can. I honestly, that's going to be the nicest thing once we have all, all the continental states plus Canada plus Mexico. Yeah, not being nice. Maybe, hopefully, in 2025. <laughs> R083, nice change of pace. Haven't seen you play this type of game in a long time. Back to the roads. Uh, thank you for your delivery, sir, which was at 7 o'clock, which was over an hour ago, and I've just seen it. How truly epic of me. Thank you for that. And Black Wave UK, <coughs> with two years. I think I missed Black Wave's two years as well. Total fail. <laughs> no excuse. I'm thinking we can go down here and hang a left somewhere. Mm hmm. Can you imagine those physics in ETS? God. <laughs> it's the thing about this game is it it's one of the games where you can actually feel the weight of the trailer like as you make yep. a turn it goes over a slope you can feel it trying to tip you over wait we should have gone left here somewhere if you make a left right here if you can that's the question let me explore I'm a little bit more nimble not yeah. much but Apparently over here. Oh somewhere. yeah, that's just small trees. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. never mind. Tree wasn't as small as I thought it was. Uh, Trond, I tried to make it rain, but the bits are too small. <laughs> just use the road too, I guess. Thank you, Trond. Aha! Uh -huh, I can see planks of wood. Yes, this is the upcoming mud runner. Correct. Unload, yes please. Ta-da! Oh, and Alex has delivered three points. Yay! Go Alex. And, and another four. four. So we won. Well, I don't know about one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to do to win? Deliver eight uh, points each. Oh, eight. It says okay. game objective on the map. It says deliver eight load points to each lumber mill. So that's one well, lumber mill. And we've done seven. If there's another one in that way, watch point, though, then there's 
We've got to do it all over again. All right, Citrus. Well, yeah, we have to get yet one more Welcome point. Back. But I only see one lumber mill, so... Well, yeah, but there's one point which isn't... I mean, we've seen two log stations, so it, you know, in theory, there's yeah, going to be two lumber mills. That is so, true. Maybe... The thing is, how, do you, how to get back into that watch point is the question. That looks pretty tricky. I'm thinking I'm going to take the Jeep and try my luck. Just squeeze my way between the trees. We could do that together, take two Jeeps and can at least pull each other out. That's what I said, Leanna. And but people see something else then all the time, our trucks. We've done, we've done seven of eight here, but we don't know. There's probably another one here. Just an idea. You could see the log kiosk before unlocking the area, so probably there's none there. True. Um, okay, I think I'll drive north to the fuel station, and then over to the log station, get some logs and come back. I've not even been to this bit. Butty! 12 months. High school, not much to say. Okay, I'm this time, just keep up I the good work. Thank you very much, Butty. Happy anniversary, sir. Watchtower. Right, how the heck are we going to have here, then? Two so U-turn. Oh, three. We get out round the back of this thing? The night time makes the game, like, so much harder. Yeah. Oh, what? Go the gold cap, buddy. Uh, on Alex's stream, you sound different. Oh boy, so stuck. Apparently, on your stream, I sound very different. Oh, do you? That's interesting. So I guess my voice going through Discord, and then through your sound hardware as well, makes it all sound different. Hmm. Possibly. I don't know if I'm you sound the same. In, in how far different? I don't know. It's just what they've said in chat. I sound different in your screen. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess. I don't know, maybe. There's so many different things. Take the K700. Uh, K700 is... Oh, crikey. Oh my goodness. Back down here? It's quite a long way from anything, isn't it? Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Rip. Yeah, with that little Jeep, you definitely get to uh, appreciate the winch feature. I wonder if I can keep left through here. Yellow. I know one thing. In hardcore, I would be on my side right now. Yeah, on hardcore, yeah. <laughs> well, we will see next month. We've gone to the map. We can go through here. The goal of the game is, well, each map you have to deliver logs to from the kiosk to the lumber mill. That's the overall objective. Hmm. Let's push forward. 4am, it'll be mm -hmm. daylight soon. It's under its uh, more or less an update really on the original. 
Uh oh, mm -hmm. there's water there. Let's keep right of that. So there's definitely water here. I wonder if we can go around that way. White Eagle Productions, welcome back. Thank you for the resume. Oh, I made my way through. <laughs> um, not where I wanted to go exactly. It's kind of the opposite way, but okay. I'm exploring in the dark. <laughs> Only half a kilometer. Uh, yeah, if you've already bought the original, then the, the new version is 50% off for you on Steam. Uh, Set of Samuli, thank you for three months. It's not a scam, it's you need to read on the history well, the of the game. Is in two minutes, it should be light again. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, it's starting to get lighter. Mm -hmm. I can almost see what I'm doing, look. Yeah, I can already see the like much further now. Waypoint's over here somewhere. No, no, no. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> well, let's just say I just unlocked the new achievement called Stunt Driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you've gone flying down the side of a mountain. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, in first person view, that's almost terrifying. <laughs> Um, well, it's by the lake. Look at that. It's got a deer tower as well. <laughs> Bob, <Bolter. laughs> there you go. Nice. Explore, Explore the bog. The <laughs> yeah, but no, no, no other lumber mill. So once you get that one. Oh, look at that! Wow, you can actually go north from here up to the log station. Wow, that lighting is weird. Look at that view, what a crazy view. Why does it feel like the sky is on fire today? Yeah. Oh, now I see why it's called the bog. Oh my god. I actually thought uh -huh. I could make it through here, but I'm beginning to think not. I'll be. Oh, are you going to that log station at the middle? Basically, roughly where I am right now is just a real bog. And oh, okay. The sounds of some very weird animals. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Watch out for those Velociraptors. I feel like I'm being hunted. <laughs> yeah, either that or the frogs are laughing. Quite deep over there. I don't know, Will Forest. I don't know what that sound was. 
I'm not sticking to find out though. Uh, what for Trebo? 13 months. Uh, and still going strong. Let's uh, hope for a lot more. Thank you, Trebo. Yeah, GG. All right, Porter. <laughs> that was a nice flip. Oh. You actually flipped it. Oh, I, I rolled it down the side of the mountain. It was sky ground, sky ground, sky ground, sky ground. Wow. Until it stopped. See if I can get across this way back to the uh, logging kiosk thing. Uh, Alex, I am living in northern Alberta. Where it's like ridiculously cold in winter, minus 35, minus 45. No, no. Hey, I unlocked another achievement. Lumberjack. Run over 100 trees. <laughs> I want that one. Is that because you went down the side of the mountain and took out a lot of tree? <laughs> no, I'm actually right now in the Type D and I'm just going straight through everything. Well, I was going straight through everything until I got stuck. Lumberjack, brilliant. Uh, yes, he's originally from Germany. No, uh, not Now they're from people. Canada. Whereabouts in Germany were you from? Uh, near Frankfurt, yeah. 45 minutes, 45 minutes north. Happy anniversary. So I want to be over here somewhere. Uh, Alexandru with 13 months. Hello, Paul. The Nutters, hope all is well. Uh, thanks for the tip on Skylines. Got the game in five expansions for 48 euros. 15 hours of game. Play in the last 24 we met hours. in Cologne. That was the first time I was back in Germany since I left. Wife is not happy with I like it. Could be awesome work and thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. Thank you for that, sir. Yeah, we. He was at Gamescom. Was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. Last year, yeah. 2016. It was hot that day. Oh my goodness, was it ever. Wasn't anything like that hot this year. No. Yassine, how are you doing, sir? Thank you for the host. How was Gamescom this year, anyway? Busy? Hey, Gamescom. Gets busier and bigger every year. Yeah. They basically sell too many tickets every year. The only day that's actually slightly enjoyable is the business trading day. Yeah, the first one or first two, whatever. Yeah, but they moved it all back a day earlier this time. So it's like Tuesday, I think, is the business trading day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, all the other days are just chaos. I to see where you are. Oh, you got... Did you uh, get already logged? No, I'm just arriving shortly at the logging thing. Okay. I'm just trying to work my way around. Yeah, it does drink fuel. You've got to watch the fuel. Like, if you look bottom left, it tells you how much fuel you're using, and it says, like, two litres a minute. If I switch on all-wheel drive, it'll suddenly, like... Um, start well we're going downhill now but it'll suddenly start consuming anything up to like 13 litres a minute have I ever seen Jam Jamie Davis towing well I've seen his trucks a few times yes I never watched the show though but yeah I see his trucks every now and again so you've got to use all wheel drive it's only when funny. you need it they actually they make made a uh, pilot trailer for a new show about firefighters which actually features the fire department here our oh, local nice. one. but it's too funny because i'm with search and rescue and uh, so we were in there a couple of times too but what you see like 
they, they make it all look always so dramatic and then when you see the real thing it's yeah yeah oh it's all for entertainment for tv isn't it yeah they, they do embellish it to make it watchable well i mean it's kind of like us right you can't just show the boring stuff you otherwise nobody will watch it but exactly it's just interesting to see it from the inside like how they really oh well yeah when you guys come out of the station it has to be a little bit more dynamic uh uh huh. mm. <laughs> okay cool oh my god this mud why did they have to put the logging pickup in outside of three foot of mud it's ridiculous well, one could argue that the mud wasn't there before, but when they put the station in, they tore up the road. Yeah, we basically carved it up. <laughs> well, I've got some more logs. I have to say, I'm enjoying myself here quite a bit, just tearing everything up with that, uh, with that Type D. I'm trying to get to you, but it's not going to be easy. Pretty much have to backtrack all the way. Yeah, so I'm going to go via the fuel station. I'm going to go topside now towards the fuel station, refuel, and then carry on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by that time, by the time you are refueled, I hope that I'm caught up with you. Well, I've done it once really this Prime Gamer, but I was with Alex. I can't remember if he had to haul me at one point. I almost ran out of fuel, remember that. There's a nice new mountain path that, thanks to his truck falling down here. <laughs> Look at the mud caked on the wheels, though. Why is it? Why is the fuel going to waste? Caspect. So caspect. I might actually stop at the garage and grab, uh, grab four points, and then we can unlock the. Uh, that would be cool. The garage too. Yeah, that would be cool. And really own this map. Alright, I'm going to try to stay on the right this time. As I remember last time, it got a bit deep in the middle there. Don't need a power washer, we've got a massive body of water here before. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't stop. Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah, if someone was here, be throwing power washes at the mix. Slow and steady. You could probably go that way and knock those trees over.
I'm just going to go high side again. Rip tree. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, this thing is sucking fuel like it's getting paid for it. Yep. They can 50 be thirsty. meters on a good road. How many? Per minute. Oh, rip. How about that uh, Euro 6 engine? <laughs> So are they uh, are they discontinuing that whole uh, fuel blue thing in Europe now too? Well, they had blue. Yeah, don't believe so. Well, they were talking here now about it. it they call it here. It's called uh, oh boy, what what do we call it? Uh, DPF. DPF fluid um, and now California apparently is the first one to discontinue it because they figured out that yep it does reduce the, uh, the sud that's coming out of, of the trailer uh, out of the truck problem is it's highly cancerous oh my god really yeah <laughs> So that, of course. Dampens the whole. Uh, DEF, not DPF, sorry. Yeah, DEF fluid. Oh, come on. Grab the trailer. Anyway, it was right on the edge then, Matt. I thought it was going to go on me. Did I go this way last time? I'm pretty certain it went that way. I'll have to get the winch out again. There we go. Oh my goodness. The garage trailer looks like, uh, you know, those those construction trailers that they sometimes have on the side. Yeah. They have the office in. Yeah, that's exactly how it looks like. Race is on not well, to the run problem off is B101, uh, that, that whole DEF and reducing CO2 emissions is all fine and dandy if you live in temperate climate up here. DEF fluid is an absolute nightmare. As soon as it hits minus 40 degrees, oh my goodness. How many times I have to work with trucks that are broken down because of DEF fluid is not even funny. Yeah, I think when you're in temperatures like that, you've got a whole different set of problems. Well, it's, the problem is, you know, Alberta kind of follows always suit what BC is doing, and BC follows suit what California is doing, while California is nice and warm. Alberta? Mm, not so much. Okay, I'm making my way up north now. Did I go right last time? I can't remember. How's the update? Uh, it's not nothing major, Matt. Not, nothing major. It's um, more of an iteration, really. New map, some graphical changes, first person. First person view. 
I thought I went through there last time. Oh, look who's there, Mr. Frosty Jack. Or did I go through there? Maybe I went through that bit. Can I get through that? That's the question. How can it be cancer if it contains more CP? I have no idea. Oh my goodness, this is a long ways. Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Hmm. So when are you doing your... Uh your very first ETS multiplayer event. Oh, I did one last Monday. Well, I just didn't stream oh. it or anything. Was it already last Monday? Huh? Oh, I thought you have a big official one. No, I, I did a test event to see what it was like. Oh. On a private server. Now, how did it go? Yeah, it went pretty well. It was like there was nobody messing about or anything. It was... Good event. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've seen your announcement, but I completely missed everything else. Plus, in a way, I there's only limited slots, so I don't feel like I should be imposing. Well, there was more. We always need to be more people wanting to join than we've got slots for. We didn't want to make it too big anyway initially. Yeah. So we just, you know. Roll the dice, pick some people. Yep, exactly. This thing is just crushing everything. It's amazing. Looting the food there. Uh, no, the MP guys. The MP guys, Matt, uh, let me have a private session for a few hours. I can't have a server permanently. 